Today I'm going to program a non-standard repeater into this Kenwood TM281A uh, 2 meter ham radio transceiver. Um, so the first thing that I want to do is make sure that the radio is in VFO mode, which it is. And then I'm going to um, enter the, f the receive frequency for the repeater that I'm interested in programming. And I'm going to do that using the direct entry method uh, with the, the microphone uh, keypad, but you, you can achieve this any way you want, um, any way that the radio will let you anyway. So I've programmed this key already, which I'll show in another video, um, so that the radio goes into direct frequency entry mode when I push it. So there you can see the display is changed to all dashes, and then I should be able to punch in the frequency I want with the um, numbers on the microphone uh, keypad. So the frequency that I'm interested in is 146415. Okay, so that's programmed in. The next thing that I'm going to do is program the transmit PL tone for this particular repeater. Um, so in order to do that, I'm going to push the function key and then push in on the menu button and then that brings me into the um, adjustment items here. And you can see there's a, a number 5 blinking up here. And uh, I'm going to scroll down to item number 2, which is the transmit PL tone. Now it's currently set to 114.8. I want to change that to 141.3. So I'm going to push in on the menu dial again. And then you can see that starts blinking. And then I can tune this until I get to the desired PL frequency. Once I get there, I push that again to enter it, and then I'll push the function key to return back to VFO mode. Once that's programmed in the memory, then I need to turn on the tone by pressing the F, the function key again, and then pushing the call button, which as you can see here, it's also labeled tone above the button and then the little T appears so that the transmit uh, PL tone frequency is activated. Now I'm going to write this to memory as if it were a normal repeater um, entry. So I'll do that by once again pushing the function key, but this time I'm going to now rotate the tuning dial until this up here becomes the desired memory channel. Now you can see I've got a bunch of channels here and then when I get to the 17 the little arrow that was under the number disappears. That means that that one is empty and ready to be programmed. You can overwrite any of the memory channels that have something in them but in this case I want to enter this into a blank frequent or a blank uh, memory channel. So once I get to the desired uh, channel that I want to enter then I just push the uh, memory recall button, or the MR button, which as you can see is also labeled uh, memory in. So that writes that into memory. And I can check that by pushing the memory recall button again, going into memory mode, and tuning around, and you can see that that's written into that memory channel. Okay, now you can see that unlike a normal uh, memory entry here, as I can, as I scroll through my already programmed memory channels, you can see that there's a plus or a minus that appears above the frequency indicating the offset. Well, in this particular case, I didn't program an offset, so it's not showing up. So in order to program the non-standard transmit frequency or offset into this particular memory slot, I want to go back into VFO mode go back into the direct frequency entry mode by pushing this button and then punching in the desired transmit frequency for this repeater which is going to be 147415. So once I have that programmed in I'm going to push the function key again go to the desired memory channel which in this case is 17 and then I'm going to press and hold the MR button to enter that into uh, that memory slot. Okay, so now that everything is entered in, I should be able to go back to 
that particular uh, memory slot 17 and now you can see that a plus and a minus both appear above the frequency and that indicates that you have a non-standard offset in this particular memory slot and then if I key up the radio you can see that the transmit frequency changes by uh, 1 megahertz okay and that's how to program a non-standard repeater uh, into the Kenwood TM281A. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful for you.